इट इज ऑन कॉस्ट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इन प्रोजेक्ट्स तो यदि आप पाँच टके का कंस्ट्रक्शन कॉस्ट कम कर सकते हैं करना चाहते हैं तो ये सेशन आप सभी के लिए फॉर दिस सेशन प्रोमिस टू बी प्रैक्टिकल एंड स्ट्रेटिजिक एक्सप्लोरेशन इन टू द ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ऑफ ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड देन फिनेंशियल एफिशेंसी विदाउट कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग ऑन द क्वालिटी थ्रू द प्रोजेक्ट लाइफ साइकिल वी हैव आर एमिनेंट स्पीकर मिस्टर सर्वेश जावड़ेकर द डिरेक्टर विलास जावड़ेकर डेवलपर्स गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स uh thank you kradai varanasi for a wonderful hosting uh friends uh, this today's session uh, i'll try to share quick tips on how you can save 10% in 10 minutes i'll not take more time because we have guruji waiting for for uh, coming in so uh, so i have come here with pune context and uh, in pune typically you would have a large scale housing project of about 10 lakh square feet uh, average size of apartment i've considered here is about 1000 square feet and uh, you know the average construction cost is about 2500 rupees per square feet uh, so first point is the built up to saleable ratio is what we must be looking at and uh, the floor to floor building and project i've shared the ratios here so feel free to take pictures of of this i have also i'll be sharing the slides so if you are able to optimize along with the architect uh, these ratios and uh, on on the right hand side is what your target should be and on the left is what typically you get so if you are able to get these ratios in place at the time of uh, initial design then it will help us to be cost efficient parking efficiency is also uh, another criteria where you know we need to keep focus on because many times the plot geometry is also very tricky to fit in the parking but uh, it's important to pay attention to the parking efficiency wall openings to slab ratio is also critical because the cost of an opening which includes the aluminum window and the glass and all these points are are quite expensive as compared with a normal wall however without reducing your indoor air quality how you can optimize it so sometimes this ratio can go up to 24% but if you can have your window to uh, the floor area ratio at about 20% then it will help you to save some cost here i think elevational features is uh, an area where you know we end up uh, Uh, no offense to any architect but the architect gets some leverage to you know design as per what he wants but however the financially it has to be viable we need to have a budget in place no matter how much that budget is based on the type of uh, building that we're doing so elevational features this is uh, a tentative budgeting that you can have in mind i think uh, soil bearing capacity is often ignored or um, not paid attention to properly at the time of invest uh, soil investigation so if we can pay more attention to what what is the safe bearing capacity that the designer has been used and more more often you know there are layers of factors of safety that gets added on and on and eventually you end up over designing your foundations reinforcement ratios are also very critical because typically your uh, you know um, the column reinforcements the beams the slabs all these ratios i have given here you can just do a quick uh, check back end at your design as to how these ratios are working and whether of course i mean uh, every design will have its own constraint on the structural uh, the steel consumption but these are more or less you know ball point figures on what questions as developers we need to ask the uh, structural designers i think grade of concrete is also uh, quite important nowadays considering that high rise and uh, higher requirement of grade is 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 quite important so uh, many times the columns are of a different grade and the slabs are of a different grade and more often our engineers on site would cast the columns or the shear walls and slab in the same grade but it has an impact so if you can delay your casting by one day then you can cast the shear walls in a different grade and then slabs can also be in a different grade which can help you to optimize substantial amount 
I think uh, these are some of the wastage management, uh, you know, ways in which you can reduce. There's a bar straightening machine that you get. So typically for a larger site, this makes sense because you're able to recycle and reduce your scrap uh, from 3% to about 0.5 to 1%. So we've been using this quite effectively at all our sites. I think BIM modeling is becoming more and more crucial um, every day because there are a lot of uh, pilferages, wastages, thefts that keep ha may happening on site and uh, to ensure that our engineers are actually paying that right quantity of uh, work done to our contractors, it's important to you know get everything in the 3D model and use BIM. I think on-site RMC is a no-brainer, I think wherever and if you would have space definitely go in for an on-site RMC, it will help you to easily save about 700 rupees per M cube which in turn has a significant impact on, uh, on, on your costing. Waybridge of course there as we've, uh, you know, we are all aware that there are many thefts that happen on external way bridges and uh, there's a lot of this the steel, uh, you know, mafia, so to say that, you know, all these bars and all the weights and we're not sure as to whether that exact weight of material has come. So an on-site way bridge with a proper CCTV camera network will definitely help you to save on your reinforcement. Couplers instead of lap, I think that's, a, that's also an area where substantial, uh, you know, savings can be done wherein instead of a lapping and this is actually applicable for higher diameters for lower diameters like 16 mm diameters it's not much of use but if when you cross more than 16 then it's definitely uh, practical power and fuel of course uh, generally uh, construction meters especially in pune get delayed by almost 7 to 8 months and for those 8 months you are de heavily dependent on your uh, dg set we all know that the cost of power for a DG set is almost 40 rupees per unit or a KWH and whereas your normal MSAB meter would be about uh, say 12 or 13 rupees. So planning your workstage in advance and ensuring that you know this little even 2 rupees can be optimized in the overall process can make a big difference. Savings in water, so water and power well they go hand in hand and in fact if you are able to calculate your monthly consumption of water there are a lot of thefts that happen in the you know simple water tankers as well so uh, if you are able to at least understand what is the pattern of water consumption on site and then probably have it linked uh, to your purchase wastage in tiles is something which is of uh, you know a, a, it's a big problem because typically we select the size first and then try to fit that size in the apartment uh, but whereas I feel that uh, but during the initial planning stage, if you can select the tile and accordingly, you know, if you can move the design a bit by 25, 30 millimeters or one or two inches or a foot here and there, and then it will help you, help you to save uh, on, on tiles wastages because this earlier the wastage for tiles used to be about 5 to 6 percent, but because of larger sizes of tiles, this wastage has now gone up to 15 to 18 percent. Uh, so this is a three mile race, it's, it's, uh, it's I think for, uh, for project management techniques to, to save on cost. So, the, so each of these numbers, so the first number like for example 686, so the first number represents the number of months that are required from the start of excavation to getting on to your first habitable floor which includes your foundation and two levels of parking typically for an aluform. Uh, building which is about 70 meters high. The next number is uh, the number of months that are required to do the entire RCC of say 20 floors or 24 floors and thereafter that number, the, uh, the last number is the number of months that would be required to uh, give the possession after your RCC is done. So the most optimum number is 686 and the most pessimist number that you can aim is triple nine. But the moment your any of these stages go in double digits is when you should start you know, panicking and making sure that your site comes back on track. So uh, if you have this kind of uh, you know, understanding on and if we are able to train our project managers to think at a slightly macro level and try and get these figures in place, then it will help you to save on your operational cost 
which is also huge because every month uh, about 30 lakhs is spent towards just maintaining the site. Uh, so if you are able to save even these 6 to 8 months will add substantial savings in your indirect and direct cost. So friends this is the summary. Uh, just to sum up these are roughly about 16 odd points. Even feel free uh, you know to adopt as you may wish to your site and uh, the whole purpose is uh, for, for this optimization is to not save on these uh, points. The reason is that these points eventually are very important from the customer mind, uh, point of view and as Kamal sir was mentioning about how uh, you know the uh, nature of complaints have risen these if you are able to then spend some money here then it will definitely you know help you in the longer run in terms of maintenance and also it will help to improve your brand image and to finally to conclude i think quality definitely trumps over cost and i think this is a very famous quote by by mr gucci <laughs> so i think i just thought i'll share it with you all thank you all thank you <laughs>